In this video, we'll explore how to improve your privacy on Windows. Windows is one of the most widely used operating systems, but it's also one of the most data hungry. It collects information about your device, your app's usage, and even how you type. Let's fix that and make your system more private. Start by not signing in with your Microsoft account on Windows. When you use a Microsoft account, your activity, app usage, and even device data are synced to Microsoft servers and tied to your identity. Instead, use a local account so your data stays right on your computer. You can do this by skipping Microsoft sign-in whenever prompted during setup or later from settings, accounts. Now go to settings, privacy, and security, then open recommendations and offers. Turn off all the toggles here. This stops Windows from collecting details like the languages you use or the apps you open just to show you personalized ads, tips, and product promotions. Next, open speech. Turn off online speech recognition. This prevents your voice input from being sent to Microsoft servers for processing. Your speech stays local and doesn't get analyzed for model improvement. Then open inking and typing personalization. Turn off the custom inking and typing dictionary. This stops Microsoft from analyzing your typing and handwriting patterns to personalize predictions. It might make typing suggestions a little less accurate, but it protects your privacy. Next, open diagnostics and feedback. Turn off send optional diagnostic data. This stops Windows from sending detailed reports about your device health, apps, and activity to Microsoft. Scroll down and also turn off improve inking and typing. You can safely disable view diagnostic data to save disk space and delete what's already stored. Unfortunately, even with this off, some basic data is still sent automatically on home and pro editions. Only enterprise users can fully stop it. Now open search, turn off search history, and click clear device search history to remove anything already saved. This prevents Windows from tracking what you search for on your PC. Under search my accounts, Turn off the toggles to stop Windows from showing data from other apps and services linked to your Microsoft account. While you're in privacy and security, review app permissions. Check which apps can access your location, camera, microphone, contacts, and messages. Turn off access for anything unnecessary or rarely used. This limits background data collection by third-party apps. And as an extra precaution, cover your webcam when not in use. Even with permissions disabled, some software exploits can still activate your camera without you knowing. Next, check which apps are running in the background. Go to Settings, Apps, Installed Apps, and open Advanced Options for each one. Under Background App Permissions, set it to Never for apps that don't need to run when closed. This reduces tracking, improves performance, and saves battery too. Now visit account.microsoft.com privacy in your browser. Here, review and delete your personal data tied to your Microsoft account. You can also turn off personalized ads across Microsoft services. If you use OneDrive, avoid keeping sensitive data in it as it is not end-to-end -end encrypted. The best option would be to turn it off completely. Go to OneDrive settings, account, and unlink this PC. Remember to delete all your existing data in OneDrive first. If your PC has the new Windows Recall feature, turn it off. Recall automatically captures screenshots of your activity every few seconds to help you find what you saw earlier. While Microsoft says it stays on your device, these snapshots can include passwords, chats, or private documents. Go to Settings, Privacy, and Security, then Recall and Snapshots, and turn it off completely. Also delete existing snapshots if they've already been created. Next, disable Remote Desktop if you're not actively using it. Keeping it on can expose your PC to unnecessary remote access risks. You can turn it off from Settings, System, Remote Desktop. Then manage Copilot carefully. If you use the Copilot app on Windows, remember to avoid signing in with your Microsoft account. When you sign in, your conversations, prompts, and usage data are linked to your identity and shared across Microsoft services like Edge, Bing, and Office. It can also access files on your device to provide context. If you don't sign in, Copilot still works, but your chats stay local to your session and aren't tied directly to you. And if you don't use it at all, turn it off from settings, personalization, taskbar, copilot. You can also disable it inside other Microsoft services like Office and Edge to stop it from accessing your personal data. After changing these settings, make sure your data is protected locally too. If you're on Windows Pro or Enterprise, enable BitLocker to encrypt your entire drive. If you're using Windows Home, install Veracrypt. It's free, open source, and just as effective. We already have a detailed video on both BitLocker and Veracrypt. 
You'll find the link in the description. Lastly, don't rely only on cloud backups. Create encrypted backups on an external hard drive and store them offline. That way, your data stays safe even if your computer or cloud account is compromised. Windows collects more data than most operating systems, but you can still take control. By changing these settings, disabling unnecessary features, encrypting your files, and keeping offline backups, you protect your privacy and limit tracking. Stay private. Stay aware.